Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So we're covering the big guy, or aka One-Eye. Uh, he is one of the best tanks in the game. Um, he is an STR hero, um, and of course, you know, his battle skills, he has 30% construction speed when he is legendary. He has a 200% squad attack, so yeah, obviously, just like any other hero, you'll notice that that's pretty much average. Uh, he is an infantry hero, so he does add infantry defense by 50% and infantry attack by 30%, which is pretty decent. Um, of course, if you look at his hero skills, he has the Brutal Impact ability, which flings a steel ball from mid-range, dealing damage to all enemies in a cone, and then inflicting stun for a second. So he's one of the few heroes that does, in fact, stun. Uh, he does 2,500 physical damage. Quake, body slams the ground, dealing damage to all enemies in a medium area, and inflicting stun for a second. So again, you know, you can see the stun is a pretty common theme with this particular hero. Uh, the big guy's big belly allows him to block all damage from enemies, so he reduces damage by 20%. That's a pretty good chunk, especially if you're dealing with a lot of physical-based heroes. So essentially, he's, you know, the crux to their their uh, incoming damage, essentially. Uh, Rampage. Spins his massive body and rushes at the enemies, dealing damage five times to enemies in a small area. Inflicts stun for one second. So at 978 times five, you can imagine he's doing about 5,000 or so. Um, obviously that's a, another second stun, but it is a small area, so that is kind of limited to what he can get when he gets close. But, having that said, we look at the basic attributes, obviously it has a lot of strength. That's like by far some of the most strength you'll see in the game. He has 533 dexterity and 359 intelligence. One eye no stupid, one eye strong. Giants live their lives at a much slower pace. A day for them could be a century for the other races. When one eye woke from his afternoon nap, he realized that hundreds of years had passed and his friends were gone. He decided he would head to the human realm to make new friends. In order to fit in better, he traded his long life for a human-sized body. Perhaps he won't be alone anymore. Well, so, of course, with Black Crow in particular, right, it, it's always a bit tricky. I mean, obviously, you guys have all probably known that Black Crow is kind of like your range hero in the game. Um, but... Obviously, as a range hero, when she starts out, you can see that she basically shoots that starter arrow, which is essentially kind of like a, it's, it's a bit of a DPS hold. But obviously, when you got like a Rose Knight shield in the beginning, that becomes pretty useless. But you can see just like in that second of a frame that you got there, you can kind of see where it comes in handy. Because again, looking very closely, you can see that arrow will basically stun the target. And then obviously, in this case, she's ultimate. So when she ultimates, she basically shoots those arrows up into the sky, and you see she does about 4,000 almost, and then another 3,000, and then there's like 1,600, and then another 1,600. So it's it's an enormous amount of damage that Black Crow is able to actually output. Now, obviously, you know one of the problems that you're often going to find with Black Crow in particular is that Although she is sitting there, she can shoot those one shooter arrows, and occasionally she does do a, you know, like a, almost like that, you know, as you can see, she can just kind of, cons it's in some ways, it's nice, and in other ways, it's, it's kind of a negative with Black Crow, because, again, to get enough MP to really be able to actually carry through with that range, you gotta be really careful she doesn't get in with, like, a Demon Slayer or something akin to that. I've seen people try and use her to counter Demon Slayer, but very seldom does that actually work. Okay. If, if you really want to make the use out of Black Crow, she's fantastic for trying to go through and actually do the DPS necessary to go back into those back lines and do the damage that you need to be able to do. But again, just looking, I mean, looking back at this one, at the very beginning, I mean, you'll, you'll see it for yourself, okay, is that, you know, because she's in the back lane like she is, she's often prone to getting hit. Now, that's a problem because if, you know, if you're going to try and counter a Black Crow, you're going to need to be able to... Essentially, you got to get back there and you've got to kill her. <laughs> now, you can see in this, even though this guy used a Demon Slayer, the Demon Slayer barely lasted long enough to really do him any good. Part of that's because a Rose Knight and a, and a big guy are really great to counter that, but if you're really looking to get rid of a Black Crow, I recommend you try to use something that's like, uh, like a Femme Fatale and uh, a Demon Slayer mix or something akin to that, because... What you're going to have to do is essentially get into that back line to get rid of that Black Crow. Now, obviously, as you can tell, Black Crow is like one of the best area of effect heroes that you can get in the game. Because, I mean, obviously, 
while, you know, most heroes in the game are defense-oriented, she's like the crux to all of that. So if you really want to get rid of those physical-based heroes, basically just throw a Black Crow in there and you're probably good to go. But again, just notice that, you know, even though this ability, and I am showing you this again and again and again, because I really want to, <laughs> like, hammer down the fact that it took a lot to get to that point. Like, just to get up and get shooting that, it, it takes a quite a bit of MP to get there. So, I almost want to say using, like, a Snow Queen may not be such a bad idea with it in tandem with, like, a Black Crow, because essentially your MP is a little bit on the slow side. And trying to keep her alive is sometimes difficult, depending on the team that you're up against. So, I, I just, I say these things because it's, it, in, in some ways Black Crow is useful, but in other places she can be... A little bit slow, uh, in, at least in, in terms of what you would need her for and when you need her for it. But needless to say, let's just actually take a look at the stats and let's just dive right into it. Human size, maybe. <laughs> anyway, of course, now if we look at his HP, 30,000. That's a ton. Okay, when it comes to strength heroes, he's like by far the best tank there is. And when it comes to tanks, he really is by far the best. Uh, his attack is remarkably better. It's not great, but it's okay. Uh, obviously, he has a ton of defense at 700. I mean, that's quite a bit. Uh, so Scarlet Bolt would be a super big help to countering big guy, a FYI. Um, you know, so physical critical is at 70, magical critical is at 35. His recovery round's obviously high because he is a tank. Uh, and he has a pierce of 18, so he does actually reduce the enemy's defense when you use him. Just so you know. But having that said, that is the review for big guy. I hope you guys enjoy these videos up to this point so far. And again, I will have more on the way, so I'll see you guys then.